And I'm here. Hey, there we go. Hey. Good Hello. to see you, Carlos. Hello from Brazil. Yeah, all right. Our first South American speaker. All right. Yes, thank you for this. All righty, and I will go to your screen. Oh, you... we need you to close your window up in the top right where we can see that. Yeah, oh, if you can X okay. that. Uh, not that. The, uh, yes. yes. There you yes. go. Yeah, there you go. All righty. Okay. The conference is okay. yours. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Carlos dos Santos. I'm CTO from CDS Software, a Brazilian company. And today we are talking why you should create your next library using .NET standard. And this is a great week for .NET, of course. .NET Core 3 was launched, but if I'm working with .NET 4, 4.5, 4.6, and I can't upgrade all of my code to .NET Core. And I have many dependencies. I already run the .NET Portability Analyzer, and there are many parts of my code that are incompatible with .NET Core. And I have a problem with this. How can I use the benefits of .NET Core? .NET Core has many, many benefits, the velocity, the facilities. And for you, you have, I have some options. You can rewrite all of your core code, but it's impossible in many cases because maybe you have a very big application, a legacy code, and the application in production is, that is not viable. Change this code. You can forget every innovations and continue with the same. Okay, that .NET Core is cool, but uh, it's not for me. And uh, you can create the only new projects using .NET Core. It's an approach for many companies because I have a big legacy and I focus on create some new things using .NET Core, only this. But if you could move some parts of your code to .NET Core, what do you think about this? And do you know .NET Standard? .NET Standard, it's present in all of frameworks. And uh, it's a, uh, for me, it's a, a way to create a standard implementation between frameworks. This means that I can create code that run in .NET Framework, .NET Core, and Xamarin, of course. And I have here a .NET standard compatibility table. And now we are here. We have .NET Core 3 and .NET Standard 2.1 in Preview. And if you look the left side, I have .NET Standard 2, .NET Core 2, and .NET Framework 4.6.1. And this is great because I can write the code that run between these platforms. And your choice is .NET Standard because you can move some parts of your code to a standard library. And then if you have a business logic, you can move this part of the, your code that maybe is not not to have problem with portability to a standard library and use and both frameworks and choosing this you can use the benefits of .NET Core in your legacy application and better than this you are improving your co your code you are moving forward and now you can write some code using .NET Core working together your with your legacy code and this is great and .NET Standard 2.1 that is present in .NET Core is not compatible with .NET Framework. But the version 2.0 of .NET Standard is. And you can reference projects that you can do, use, that you create using .NET Standard 2 in .NET Core 3 and .NET Framework. It seems confused, right? But it's not. I have a demo to explain this. How can I use .NET Standard in my legacy code? First, you need to move the .NET Framework version of your current project to 4.6.1 at least. I recommend you move it to the last version today, the 4.7.2. It's the first. It's not very complicated because you are improving your code because you are using a newer version of .NET Framework. It's very common companies has 
.NET 4 or 4.5 in your code, and you can move to a new version and solve some maybe problems with compatibility. It's not very complicated to do. Second, you can move some classes or parts of your code or, for example, a business layer or data access uh, that is compatible with .NET Core and you can use the portability analyzer tool that is present on Visual Studio to and test this code and move it to a .NET Standard 2 project. And then you can extract parts of your code or maybe you have a, do you have a library, you can move it to .NET Standard project, okay? And finally, you can reference the .NET Core libraries in your .NET Framework project. And I have, a, for example, I have a .NET full .NET Framework project, and I have a .NET standard library that can I use in this project, .NET full, and a .NET Core project. And it's great too. If you have .NET Core projects, of course, you can reference the same library as well. And writing your libraries in .NET standard. Writing your libraries, you can use the benefits of .NET Core. And principally, you create better code and improve your developers' capabilities. This is great because maybe you have developers that can use the new technology because you have a legacy code. And this is frustrating because developers can work every day with an old code and an old tools. And using this approach, you can move in increasing capabilities of your developers and your developers has a chance to learn new things and new frameworks and using new functions of .NET Core and improve your performance and improve your code. And you keep your legacy code running. That is very important because you can move all of your code maybe to .NET Core. And you have the better of two words now. And Prepare your company to the future because you are using a new version of tools. And remember that the .NET 4.8 is the last version of the full framework. Now the word is .NET Core. Okay, I have a demo for you, and I will. I'm using here the Visual Studio 19, and I have here a very simple solution that uh, has four projects. I have uh, some console application that is, it's, the purpose is only to show uh, this, this combination of uh, core and full framework. And I have a console core, console full, I have a library core in standard, and I have a thing that is entity framework core in a library. And uh, if I look in for this library, and I click here, it's a .NET standard library, it's only this. And you can create a new library using .NET standard, or you can pick up your current code and convert to a .NET, a .NET standard, .NET core project using .NET standard 2. This is very important here that to compatible with .NET framework, I need to use .NET standard 2, not 2.1, because 2.1 is only for .NET Core 3, right? Okay, and on this project, I have a customer class is very simple, and I have a customer server that's simple too, and I have a list of customer here, but it is running on .NET Core. And I have here a console full that is a .NET framework application that use .NET Framework 4.7.2, okay? It's a, here it's a console application, but you can use every kind of application, right? And uh, I have here, oh, I will close here, and I will show a console application. And I have here, it's, it's pretty simple. I have a console here that has a, uh, new object based on my customer servers that is a code that is inside my core standard library. It's here. And I mean, I he have here two kinds of projects. I will run this. I will comment to this part first because it's another library. And I will run. It's very simple.
Okay. This is just compiling. Okay, it's very, very simple. Here I have .NET Core, a .NET full framework application, and here I have .NET Standard. And then I have the two things running together, right? And I have another library here that it's an entity framework core. Oh, this is very interesting because uh, if you if you can use the new entity framework core, it's better, better than the last version that you entered framework six, and you have many control, you have many perf more performance about your code, and it's a very good ORM platform for you. And if you need, if you want to use this platform, you can create this approach, this kind of classes. I have a class here that is another standard library. And uh, I have here only something different because I needed to copy edge framework assemblies to my, my principal project. And I have here an edge framework core 2.2. But why you don't, ha don't have edge framework core 3? Because I'm in a .NET standard 2. And I can't use in the .NET standard 2 edge framework core 3 because it's using .NET standard 2.1. But it's okay, it's a very good version of .NET Core, or of Ant Framework Core. And I have here the Ant Framework Core and the SQL Server Core, and it's a very simple. I have here a context class, and I have here my, my connection string. It's not a, a better approach, but it's on for demo purpose. And I have here a context, the simple context. I have a customer here. I'm using the, the famous Northwind database, and I have a service here, it's a customer service here that has a context and I create a context and I get all customers. It's pretty simple, right? And I go back to my console app and I uncomment here and I have here an instance of customer service EF and I have here all of customers reading for EF. Right, it's very simple. Here I have entity framework core running inside a .NET full framework application, right? And I have another project here, it's simple too. It's a console core and how I said, I can use the same library in both project, but this project is a .NET core app tree. Oh, of course I can use the .NET Core app 2 or 2.2, it's not a problem. And I have a reference here for my libraries. And I have the same code here, it's very simple. I have here the same code using the same libraries because .NET standards is compatible with all of frameworks. I can use this, I can run, and I have the same code here. It's a pretty simple code. I have the same, the same code running in both platforms and my message for you is you can move your coding forward even you have a legacy code and this is a very simple application but you can see the potential of this kind of code i can use the same code both in two frameworks okay and there is it's a very simple explanation about the dotnet standard and how can you use this on your application and I will return to my deck here. And I have some links for you. For example, oh, I have questions about .NET Standard. I can't understand this and how can this works. You have a great documentation from Microsoft about .NET Standard and .NET Standard 2.1 and how this is working after this or after .NET Core 3. And remember, you need to move your coding forward. You need to improve your legacy code. And there is, thank you for watching this presentation and I hope that you can move your code to .NET Core. Oh, this code was, I will put this code on my GitHub repo for people that can see you. Oh, that's great, Carlos. Thank you so much. Yes, we'd love to have that, that code available on the GitHub repos. Yes, yeah. thank you for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we we know our friends.